do you know have been sexually assaulted while attending West Virginia U? Uh, four people. Too many. I would say I don't I only know one. Probably two. Within the first semester here, nine students at WVU came to my office specifically. Do you know if they reported it? No. Uh, only one did that I know of. Mm -hmm. They did? Um, did they press charges? No. It got swept under the rug. Uh, she did, yeah. If it is reported, because you know that sexual violence is the least reported crime across campus or in society at large, so the numbers that you're seeing, the statistics that you're seeing um, are under reports or underestimates of sexual violence. So Do you know why they didn't? Or? Because there's more victim blaming rather than like getting help. They don't want to be blamed for what happened. What are some rape myths? Um, the ones that I talk about in my class, um, that she asked for it. Um, this, this idea, the notion that what, well, what was she wearing? Was she drinking? Um, really blame the victim, this type of, um, well, he only does it because he loves me and I have to show this in a, in a way that, and it sounds really crazy and silly to us, but it's interesting to see um, some, some things that play out because we, we do believe in rape myth. The, the worst thing about it, I think, is that the person, the perpetrator who uh, committed the crime had actually assaulted three other girls before this girl reported it and nothing was done about it. It was just kind of like, keep it hush hush, you know, we'll take care of it and then nothing. In most cases, uh, the legal action wasn't pursued. It's very difficult to um, pursue one of those cases, but we shouldn't be deterred from doing that. Yeah, yeah I think, um, Education, awareness, and prevention campaigns are probably the most important. I think um, speaking out, finding a voice. Um, I wear this being inconvenient, because sometimes it's it's inconvenient to talk about um, these things that we don't want to talk about, healthy relationships and communication. Um, also not being an innocent by bystander. So really uh, standing up for your fellow students, standing up for your friends, um, not allowing these things to happen in your life, um, just in general. So I think that finding campaigns and awareness and prevention um, methods that really stand up to this, these types of injustices are really critical. Um, but finding a voice is the most important. Listening, um, being empathetic uh, to the stories and not always, uh, and really not contributing to rape myths that, that are around and, and that happen in, at college campuses.